Okay. I'll send a siege general over here, and these guys can just carpet siege behind. I'll do something like this. Should work. And these guys can go... They can stay here, really. Okay, and now we're staging all their stuff down. This is gonna be our first, um... Our first push-in. Add a Siege General to this group. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna wait for this stuff to fall. We control the sea. Serbia's cut off from his own land over here. That's perfect, we want it to be that way. And we've got Austrian hunger on the run. War exhaustion's a little high, I'll buy it down. Let's take a look at Rebels. Greek Separatists are gonna pop in a year. Let's see if we can do anything about that. Yeah, I'll raise autonomy, just so I don't have to deal with this. The stuff I'll leave. But those high numbers. There we go. Now it's three years. That's okay. That's manageable. The states want more land? Was that what that was? Yeah. Alright, so we'll give something to the clergy. There you go. I can steal money from the burgers? Let's do that. I can also try to recruit a new general. Let's see. Oh, three siege? Thank you. Alright, this guy's fired. And I'm gonna get that three siege guy somewhere. Um... Tell you what. Let's get him over here. He should take over from this guy. It should work out that way. Yes, okay. Yeah, because he had more pips. Beautiful. Beautiful. Serbia's gonna be done. My wars are always such a mad mess. Oh, they're they're beautiful mad messes though. <laughs> they're beautiful messes. <laughs> Just put the rebels in the army. Uh this is no, so we had two coalition wars and then Austria declared a conquest war against us. So we're kind of focusing on the Conquest War and letting the Coalition War tick out. Because... It takes a long time to piece out a... Uh, defensive Coalition War. So I'm just letting them burn themselves out. Over here. And Syria's kind of struggling against them, which is nice, because... Syria's not loyal. So he wouldn't actively participate in the war. Except that he's kind of the border <laughs> between me and the Coalition, or the main forces of the Coalition, right? The Timmies. Um, maybe it's easier to see this way. So the Coalition is Georgia, Timmies, Hejaz, uh, Naples, apparently. I guess he got um, independence from Aragon. Interesting. Or Castile, maybe. I don't know. And these little guys that we're eating up right now. Uh, so I guess we are fighting the Coalition War by sieging this stuff down, but it's only incidental. We're really on our way to Austria and Hungary. Okay, and speaking of Austria... He's probably gonna sneak down this way and go for Constantinople, which is fine. I'll just start maneuvering that way. Move these guys up. So these two forces are actually the same army, and then all these little guys, these three little guys down here are the same army, and this is one army. So I'm just kind of keeping them all together so they can combine later. Uh, when something here falls, I'm going to start sieging down Dalmatia. I have, uh, em I have lazy diplomats, so let's get them to work, right? Let's see, where would I get them to work? Probably Mamluks. Oh, except I can just get that mission, right? There. 
I can get one on Trebizond. Uh, maybe Theodoro. Oh. They're a vassal to the Golden Horde. Interesting. These guys are doing better than they... than I expected. Um, how about Genoa? Let's do Genoa then. And I'll just improve with my allies. That way they're doing something. Offensive ideas. No, I think I need to wait for this tech, so I'm not going to hit the idea yet. Build spy network for siege speed? Oh! So if you have a spy network against a country, you can increase your siege speed? Or your siege ability, maybe? Oh shit, I wasn't looking. Uh-oh. We're in trouble here. Uh-oh. We're in trouble here! You juked me. You juked me good, Austria. Good on you. Let's see if I get there in time to keep it going. Yeah, I do. Okay. So it's just about these guys getting there in time now. Shoot. They might not get there. Let's get bodies in there on that front line. Just to help it out. Okay, now we're okay. Ooh, that was a close one. <clears throat> we held off 50k with 5k. <laughs> Alright, um... Let me do this. Let me consolidate the mercs. I'll take the manpower hit on the regular infantry. <clears throat> I'm okay with that. For now. Let's get these damaged regiments out of here, though. We'll put them back here. And we'll leave behind what we need for the siege, which is 7k. Then I'll bring back some troops for these two. And we'll just reform the army. The, the three armies when the time comes. Okay. This is good, actually, because I can take this cab off this siege. Okay, sieges are back up. And we're okay. If they have more than tech than you, you get a penalty. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay, so that's what I'll do then. I don't really need to get any claims on Genoa right now, so I will build a spy network on Austria instead. Nice, thanks for that. I didn't know that. Okay, I'm gonna have just three different armies sitting around. Got some conversions done. Yeah, I can definitely, uh, I can definitely record videos. It's taking 12% of my CPU <laughs> to both stream and record this, so... I think we're good. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Well, at least I'm defending. In the mountains. Uh oh, rebels. Wasn't paying attention. Where'd they pop? Oh, they're like in Syria. Okay, fine. Let me just keep an eye on those separatists. 
So now you can also show your subject's revolts. So you can see their progress. Hopefully Siri can take care of that on his own. 